Hello everyone and how is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing well. Well where I'm at right now in Canada it's a holiday today so everybody's just chilling out taking it easy. Some folks are probably out picnicking barbecuing or whatever but I'm at home and today folks I just feel like doing because you know I love soup everything soup for me. So today I'm just doing some idle soup just with red beans and my coconut milk and some vegetable in it no dumpling okay i have nothing against the dumpling but no dumpling in it today so folks i finished um boil my red beans i just had some pumpkin and my coconut milk is added to it also so so as you can see and red bean folks isn't very hard to cook you just put it down put it to soak like overnight or for several hours um with a little bit of baking soda in it and then you put it on the fire in a very on a very medium heat don't put the heat too high and that's the trick to it there so what i'm going to be putting in my soup today is um right now there's carrots here um i have turnip some celery i'm start putting them in and pumpkin Chocho, and as for the other island knows it, that's Christophine, so that's basically it. And one Irish potato, and um, pieces of yellow yam, and a piece of white yam, and um, my all my herbs my parsley, my cilantro, my scallion, and my thyme, and my scotch bonnet add in there, and that's it. No big stuff, no big heap of food in there today, folks. Nice and easy. And idle soup doesn't have any meat in it. Just your veggie. And you know, some people could you want to use um whatever peas you want to use. But I love my red beans to be in my um idle soup. And all I'm gonna be putting in is some um some vegetable stock, a little vegetable cube in it, and that's it. No maggi, no maggi powder, and I have my um Oregano, basil, and rosemary, and all of that in there. We were putting in, and that's it. No Maggie, not interested in Maggie. A little guy, um, maybe a little guy of herbs in it, along with the vegetable stock, and that's it. Now, I don't want any heap of powder powder in anything I do. and just a lot of herbs and like i said if you not access, have access to the dry herb uh, to, to green herb you can um, get the dry one you know so that's it anyway i uh, you know people love their maggie and all of that i'm not taking that away from anybody but like i said for me i give a little piece of white yam now to have in the it also and i have a piece of yellow yam and you know that's it and I just let it simmer on down. And not a heap, uh, not too much salt, folks. All that sodium is not good for us. It just lead to high blood pressure, which is clinically named as hypertensive. Okay, so I'm just this is my white yam I'm doing here right now. We call it negro yam or. And I'm cutting them very small, folks. I'm, I'm not making any big chunks. I like when I do my soup, everything just um, uniform, small, nicely. You don't have to have it too big. Well, you know what? Everybody does stuff differently, so. But I like to have my stuff cut nicely, small. And that's the yam I'm putting in right now. As I say, I'm cutting them up in smaller pieces. So right now I have in there, I have carrots, I have pumpkin, I have celery, I have chocho, and um, turnip. I love turnip. Turnip is having so much um, nutrient in it, you know, just along with the carrots. So that's everything right there right now. Um, And I'm 
I'm just going to let everything just simmer down. today but it's very cold it's still on the cold side the cool side because a couple days ago we have like a tornado storm um size um thunderstorm here which do a lot of damage to a lot of people property and i think about nine people died so it was a very serious one so again condolence to all those people who lose their lives and uh, still a lot of people um still don't have any electricity because in a lot of places the electricity was down so everybody just saying this is an unusually weird May month we've never seen one like this before you know the month is almost done we're going into June and we still it's still so very cold so very cold but what can I say folks is what it is right out of this so that's why we just get up every day and give thanks to the most high and make the best of that day folks and make the best of that day I'm just what I do with my soup stock uh, my vegetable stock I put it in a little boiling water it's a cube and put it in because when you put it in just like that it cakes up on the food sometimes so I just had a little boiling water to it and then I just you know dissolve it just dissolve it and then you put it in look at that folks it's just bubbling away yeah that's my high tail soup here look at that and what I do when I boil in the peas, when the peas almost boil, I had some pumpkin because I like my pumpkin to also just dissolve in it. Then I add a few more pieces afterwards. So folks, um, this is my scallion going in and I like to just cut them right down so you get most of the, um, all you just um, go like this. That's how my grandmother used to go break them up she said that's where you get all the all the flavors let's break them up like that or I could put it in my mortar over there yeah and this is some um, parsley fresh parsley I'm putting in parsley is so good for you um it lowers your blood pressure and your sugar your blood sugar and I just like to just stick my thyme some some of them I like to um get with some of the sprigs off so that let's get a few other sprigs off in it yeah and you know you can uh, have in this kind of a soup and this is um some cilantro i'm putting in also i'm just i love the flavor of cilantro and everything and that is another very good um herb for you it's antioxidant and that's my scotch bonnet pepper an old one put the rest of this um all the time all right now i'm just going to dissolve um, my ready to have a stuff and I put that in a few minutes. I just let it dissolve in it hot water Let's 
folks. As they say, the pot is bubbling, folks. The pot is bubbling. And let me just get while I'm at it. All spice. Because everything else has gone in already. Um, put in oregano. Um, basil, all of that I add in already. So I just want to add all spice or we know it as pimento okay and this is what this is the only time i like to put my put them in whole like in my soup and i'm just gonna add just a bit of this is a very good herbal lamb seasoning it's called gayo okay doesn't have all that powdery stuff in it. It's just absolutely beautiful. So I put all of that stuff in there already. I think I put in some oregano. I'll put a little basil. And all of this is done freshly, grind up. I bought the fresh one and grind it up. Like, there's a video up there of that, folks. So if you want to know to do it, go on. Uh, see, folks. That's my hytel soup then. As I say folks, no dumpling. I'm not a dumpling person and um, I won't be putting any in. I, I you know, we have one fried dumpling now again. Once in a while I'll have a boiled dumpling. But for me, if when I cook soup and it's for myself. And anyway, anybody else come by and I know somebody will come by today. They, they drink it like that or you know what they go flour is here they can go mix up their own flour but I won't be doing any I'll put some oregano I forgot I didn't put that okay a little bit of fresh oregano and that's basically everything there and folks what gonna give it you know the taste is the coconut milk the coconut milk is what gonna bring it all out yeah no meat just the veggie and your beans and that's what is called idol soup The smell folks of a coconut milk simmering, it is so beautiful. That having enough nutrient more than any meat. Omega 3 right there oil fatty oil and that's what the hearts need omega-3 to break down all of that um, fat in the bloodstream coconut is the number one for that so basically folks i'm just gonna throw in the um that is the vegetable um stock and that's just made from vegetable okay let me just see wow that is oh i have to put a little piece of butter a little piece of my homemade butter folks <laughs> i'm bragging not bragging because folks i've been doing everything for myself long before youtube i've been making a lot of stuff for myself long before youtube so it's not a matter of bragging um, almost everything i cook with herbs um if i want some mayonnaise in a dish i make it turmeric powder i make it my garlic powder i make it from scratch quite a few ketchup if i'm doing a dish and i run out uh, i can make i make my own ketchup all of that folks my own cider vinegar 
all of that everything from scratch I don't know, I like to see everything I'm using be nice and clean, folks. Appearance is everything, you know, just like presentation. Yeah. So I just lower the heat so it just simmer. try to taste because I don't want I write it on the salt then over salt folks that is so good I just close that up and as they say let it bubble and in a few minutes that's when you, you know you always i always try to plan ahead boil the peas because everybody knows how to boil um peas you just put your peas on with um some garlic in it and i put a little piece of um cinnamon stick in it you'll be surprised to give it a nice flavor folks yeah and as i say you put your peas to soak for a few hours you know you want our if you're gonna do it, you come. I'm gonna do. Give it even half an hour with a little bit of baking soda, and if overnight, yeah, I put mine overnight to soak. And um, when you cook it, it's um very tender, yeah. Or I think you can add a little baking soda to it while you're cooking. Either way, yeah. But always soak it off first. Always put it to soak, if preferably in some filtered water because we use up water from the pipe with all that chlorine. Um, you know um so this is it so if you have a you know i like the filter jugs are very inexpensive these days folks and you can get a case of the filter eight filter like for 30 bucks which is good because one in the store is like nine bucks so there you go look at that bubbling there folks yeah all those beans absolutely fantastic that's looks good so i might as well just I have my thing ready. I'm going to use my little Chinese bowl today. <laughs> I love the colors, you know. It's beautiful. There we go. And that's going to be done in a few minutes, folks. And this is Aital Soup. Empress G style. So, folks, please like Please share and subscribe. Thank you very much. And um, go over and support Richard Brown and Jamie Wood. Um, show them some love, folks. And let's go subscribe. And and if you're able to, you could send them a, a you know a donation. I think it's much appreciated because um, they do so much over there with the young people's folks. There are a lot of the young people that get off the street and have them. They're giving them a craft. And the young folks over there, actors, they're so good. They are so good at what they do, folks. So, yeah, these young people just need a chance, you know. They just need a chance to show up their skill and their talent. And that's what they do over there with these young people. They're not making any money um, on what they're doing right now because... Um, you know, um, the young folks come, the young actors come and they have to keep them there. Feed them three meals a day. Place for them to stay, especially if they come from the country. I know I've seen people there from Portland, from Kingston, and they're in West Milan, Negro West Milan. So, you know, so this is it. So, it's basically, they're really helping these young people along the way. Yeah, so, show some support and, you know, all you got to do is just point, go in and just hit that subscription bell and do the same thing for me folks and right now i gotta big up my folks big up all over who support me and um 
let me catch some of the names right now again i'm just continuing bigging them up okay guys g e j a is that gja radio big up yourself ranks production big up yourself asian method big up yourself email kate big up yourself and marie turner sent by fire from over by jammy hood big up yourselves see moss gala ja oh, i think it's moss gala galia uh anyway see moss something and fire send that person to neil nelmar big up yourself sent by fire too um and marie bravo chef Amberat, big up yourself and um we have row police kitchen cooking and baking big up yourself thanks for the support and as i was still i uh, went into the analytic and i see that uh, some of my a lot of support is all over in india and indonesia big up yourself jamaica is there too um but india is like I was so amazed when I went in and saw that. And Indonesia, Canada, big up yourself also too. You are there for supporting me. But India, I must say um, a million thanks. And Indonesia, thank you also. Appreciate it. And um, I know especially India with all the, the uh, merengue and stuff like that. Because India, especially they have a large ve uh, vegetarian population, the Hindu population. They do a lot of vegetarian dish. So this dish today, India, all the Indian over there. This is a nice soup here, you know, um, red bean soup and just vegetable. It don't get any better vegetarian than that. So I hope you're watching and, you know, you put thumbs up for me and like and try it. Try red beans. Um, we call it ital. Red bean ital soup. Ital mean anything with no meat in it, you know. All vegetable. So... Try this dish, folks who are into vegetarians, because um, I guarantee you like it right down to the stock in it is all vegetable, okay? All right, so thanks a lot to all my all these people subscribe. Deacon, big up yourself down in, I don't know if you're still in the Bahamas, are you back in Jamaica? Marie and Melo, big up yourself. Um, so I thank everybody again for support and, and subscribing. And folks, um, Please continue to do so, and thank you very much. Uh, okay, so let me see what this soup is doing right now, folks. Like I said, for India, I know in India, I think the majority of the population in India, I think it's Hindu. And Hindu, they're all vegetarian. Wow, folks, look at that. Now, look at that. This thing, as Moko said, the boat has landed, folks. Look at that. That is so beautiful. So beautiful. And you see, everything is cut very small, uniform, so it cooks, um, everything cooks at the same time, and it cooks for, um, you know, it don't take a long time to cook. Wow, folks, that soup is awesome. So, everything is really cooked. Um, look at that, yeah, it's cooked. Everything is so small, and yeah, the yam is cooked. Potatoes. Oh gosh, that matched up because I cut them so small. So folks, I think that boat has landed, folks. So I'm just gonna just play it, just play it for my audience. And I say I'm doing my very fun, pretty um Chinese um dish today. So I'm just gonna. I hope you can see it in this so I'm gonna have to fill it all the way up and then I throw it back in the pot this is just for because this is a deep dish okay folks so beans wow
that's for the pepper on top. And this is all. Folks, when people talk about food in soup, the food is not what matter, it's just the liquid. Because all the nutrient is boiled right out in the soup, in the, in the, in the, in the fluid, right? So it's all about the nutrients. So folks, that's it right there. That is my Ital red bean soup with coconut milk and veggie, folks. And I better take the pot off because that's... Okay. So, folks, that's it right there. Ital soup, Rastaman style. No meat, folks. Red bean, vegetable, or Ital soup with um, potato, negro yam, from yellow yam, carrot, pumpkin, turnip, chocho, crystal, slash crystal and some a little bit of celery. And that's it, folks. That's all you need right there. That's a very nutritious bowl of soup. You don't need no meat in that. Okay, folks. So again, folks, thanks for everybody for watching. And everybody who's having a holiday here today and enjoying themselves. So, folks, make sure when you're on the road going home, no drinking and driving. Okay. So we don't see any news later on, any casualty. And again, everybody, thanks for watching. And you have yourself a very nice day. All right? Peace.